What do we got? Hey, have you heard? She's the new Divine Priestess. Whoa, but she's so young. Do you think she can really handle it? Remember, Kokumi, as the Divine Priestess, the whole of Watatsumi Island will be entrusted to you. Though you may not be suited for such a role, from the music? today onward, you must strive to meet the hopes of the people. Music feels so tense. You're right. Governing is not my forte. My true skills lie in the art of war, focused on the single purpose of victory. The art of Our war. Aim is to hit the enemy hard while minimizing casualties. In this battle, Gobi's and Gogeja platoons will be decoys. If successful, we will besiege them. Otherwise, Swordfish platoon will flank the enemy and burn their provisions. All right. The mastermind behind everything. Qualified to lead Watatsumi Island? No, I'm far from it. War is chaos, and yet I see the method to the madness. The people are unfathomable. How can I know what their hearts desire? Please visit Sangonomiya Shrine sometime. I wish to talk. It was like tense at the beginning. You, I, I liked it. Okay. So let us talk about Kakomi. To survive hardship, you must prepare for a hardship. Good lord, we see it again. You know, she was pretty five head in the teaser, but all right, pretty forehead right here. You know what I'm talking about? We have the Sengenomiya Kakomi Pearl of Wisdom. We'd like to introdu introduce you, the Divine Priestess of Watatsumi Island. Hydro character, yep, yep. She is a support character with excellent healing capabilities. Now, I know you guys thought she was going to be main DPS. I apologize. All right, if you guys are just now finding this out. Yes, she is a support character. Remember, support. So whenever she releases and you guys are like, where is my damage on Kakomi? Don't try to be angry at Mihoyo. They say it right here. She's a support character. All right, guys, support. Her elemental skill provides sustained healing to nearby party members while dealing hydro damage to enemies within its AoE. So that's kind of like Sai UC1, I think, right? You pop down the Daruma, it does healing to enemies within the AoE as well as, or and healing to allies and then damage to ally or enemies. So I'm, think, I'm thinking that's literally like a, um, a Sai U C1. When Kakomi activates her elemental burst and enters her ceremonial garment state, her normal attack, charge attack, and her E ability are increased based on her max HP. Okay, when her normal and charge attacks hit opponents, Kakomi will also heal nearby party members. Very interesting, so like Barbara. We have the normal attacks, the shape of water, three consecutive attacks dealing hydro damage. We okay. got the talents, little, little jellyfish going there, electro charge, nice. Summons a Bake Karage. Created from water that can heal her allies using the skill will apply the wet status to Sanginomiya Kakomi. Oh my god, it's it's like Barbara. It's actually like Barbara, dude. What the fuck? That's bad then. I don't like that. Wait a minute. You're like freezing yourself then. Um, The little uh, com uh, companion Bake Karage will deal hydro damage to surrounding opponents and heal nearby active characters at fixed intervals. This healing is based on Kakomi's max HP. So literally like Sai, you see one. <sighs> okay, talents. Nerade's Ascension. Summons the might of Watsatsumi dealing hydro damage to surrounding enemies before robing Kakomi in a cer ceremonial garment made from the flowing waters of Sanginomiya. All right, let's uh, ceremonial garment. Sanginomiya Kakomi's normal attack, charge attack, and Bake Karage damage are increased. Ooh, increased damage based on her max HP. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. When her normal and charge attacks hit opponents, Kakomi will restore HP for all nearby party members. And the amount restored is based on her max HP. Lovely. Increases Sanginomiya Kakomi's resistance to interruption and allows her to walk on the water's surface. Wait, did I read that correctly? Increases Sanginomiya Kakomi's resistance to interruption and allows her to walk on the water's surface. Well, oh, you can just walk on water? You can actually just walk on water. <laughs> These effects will be cleared once she leaves the field. Very interesting. 
a little unique feature right there. She can walk on water, I guess, during during this. As well as increased damage and healing based on her max HP. Beautiful! So if, at least she's very simple to build. Just stack HP and you're good to go. I don't I don't like how she's applying the wet status to herself. Because she's like Barbara. And if you guys have ever used Barbara, you guys hate that. Because you guys keep getting frozen or electrocharged. Or reverse vaped or whatever the fuck, right? You know what I'm talking about? This is a rough one for me. This is a really rough... <sighs> Like, even Mihoyo tweeted out and said Genshin Impact meme. Oh, this is such a rough one for me, dude. It's so rough because it seems like some of the abilities are just recycled from other people. You know what I'm talking about? I don't know. It's like, bro, her E is literally like Sayu C1. A four-star character, C1, where it can heal within the AoE, like a, I'm assuming like a little circle or something, and then do damage. So I'm like, okay, I got Sayu for that, right? And then it's like you apply the wet status to yourself as well. I thought we'd be over that because Barbara does that and I hate that. And Barbara's a four star. And now Kikomi's a five star. So I thought maybe we wouldn't do that because that's like a downside. That's a real downside. But I'm comparing Sayu's alt to Kikomi's skill. True. Actually true. I guess fair enough. You're right. I am comparing her. I mean, I am comparing Kikomi's E ability that you can pop constantly to Sayu's ultimate. I guess that is a little bit unfair in that regard. You can just pop Kakomi's E, pop down the little companion to heal and do damage, and then uh, just focus on other characters in the party, right? But then again, what about... I mean, I guess Bennett has an alt as well, but it doesn't... Uh, there's... Man, out of all the healers, though, dude. Like, you could do... I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. I guess it's not... Uh, you're, you're making... You're confusing my mind right now. I don't know how to feel, chat. I don't know how to feel. The only thing I know is that we're gonna have to wait a few more days until the character teaser, I think, Char or character demo, and then the um, the ability showcasing and stuff like that. <clears throat> more in depth. No, like real talk, let's pause for a second. Why does it feel like every Hydro character is like a support, bro? Am I just saying that out of my ass right now, or am I ha gonna have to go down the list of characters to think about that? We got Barbara, we got Sing Cho, we got Nao Kakomi, we got, we got Mona. Now, the exception is going to be Tartaglia, of course. There's always one exception to everything, right? Like, well, actually, how do you want me to redeem myself when even Mihoyo, the official Genshin Impact Twitter account, is memeing on Kakomi by saying she's a meme? How do you want me to try to redeem myself here and say, Envy, pull for Kakomi, come on. You said you would pull for all Inazuma characters. Bro, even Mihoyo is like, this is a lost cause. We don't care. I'm trying to move on from this. How do you- what do you want me to do here? Come on, what do you- what do you want me to do? In Jesus. Okay, calm down. You know what- you know what, chat? I can't wait. I'm- I'm losing myself over here. I can't wait until I see those YouTube video guides. Not about damage numbers, but who can heal the most? And to try- it's gonna be a heal off on who can heal the most. It is if Kakomi's worth pulling. <laughs> oh my god. I can't. Oh lord. Someone help me, please. I'm dying over here.